Lads, how's it going? Maki HD here, and welcome to Road to the Vision 1. Oh, yeah, I am back from my holiday to Barcelona. Got to see them smash Real Mallorca 5 0. Absolutely brilliant game, brilliant atmosphere at the Camp Nou. Well, anyway, let's get into this. The teams we're playing with today are Newcastle. <sighs> what can I say about Newcastle, really? Guys, I feel sorry for the fans who use who support them. You guys are terrible. Like, how are you a four and a half star team? Uh, yeah. The squad. I mean, ever since you lost them, bad things have gone downhill badly. I see so you've got so many French players. It's like looking at Calais. Uh, Hatim Manafa is on the bench. He's in the reserves actually. This this goes beyond logic in my opinion. Pace, five star skill moves. Why what, what are you doing on the bench? FIFA, Logic, again, messing around with us. Um, I hope you don't mind this new commentary style. It's just just a groovy, groovy hypno thing to do. All right, so we are going to get into the match with Newcastle United. And look at this. Basically, EA decided to match you up with somebody who is in four and a half stars. So I have to go in, redo my squad again, and go back around. So that's the biggest load of bullshit I've ever seen. But anyway, we do finally get matched up. We go into our game. I'm up against Andy Malaka, laka, 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 laka. So basically, did you just spot it all? Anyway, in the 45th minute, talk about extra time, injury time, in the first half time, all this time. Bufasa gets his sweaty little back header goal. Poor defending by me. Cheek Teote looks distraught in the middle of the box. I mean, look at this. An easy cross in. Poor defending. Poor keeping as well. You should really be catching that, Tim Krul. 1-0 thanks to Bufasa. Anyway, Newcastle, can we do it? No, we can't because Eto'o in the 46th minute punishes us yet again. Samuel Eto'o still got that pace, still got those steroids up in, uh, there in the Russian league. I'm only joking. He's actually a sound player. Very, very good, very, very quick and very, very cheap. I mean, look at this. Troy always smashes it 3-0 in the 59th minute. Newcastle United, we are gone. This guy, he was just a fucking... PP to be honest, he was just taking the ball around the back, kicking it forward, kicking it back. Trina Newcastle losing, and that is how it ends. A dark day has descended upon us. Our winning streak has has come to an end. <sighs> what can I say? I was rusty. I hadn't played FIFA in a while. A desperate day, bad day. I'm surprised it wasn't raining. Although that would be a bit of make it worse. We have six points, seven games remaining. Time to use Juventus. All right, all right, all right. We can do this. So basically, Juventus are an amazing team. Got some brilliant players. Pirlo <laughs> got so many good players. But anyway, the main player you want to use is Giovinco. He's about four foot one, and he's got 94 pace. So yeah, just meow. He's like a Ferrari, and he will just pretty much obliterate any defenders you can find in the game. And guess who we're up against? Fecking Bayern Munich, the team that smashed Juventus 4 0 over two legs in the Champions League. Just what we need. Anyway, we are going to get things started by putting it into defensive. <laughs> Isla crosses in, and Giovinco, all four foot one of him, heads it into the back of the net. <laughs> Where does this come out of? I do not know. It, it's just a fecking brilliant header by Giovinco. Brilliant little guy. So pacey. He's unbelievable. Get him and try him out. Look at this bang, just a little head up. Manuel, no, your Buffon's better than you. All right, Thomas Muller here comes in, takes a shot, and what was I saying about Buffon? He's gone to shit altogether. Like, I mean, come on, he should be catching that. It's near post, but near post OP. Ah, 1 1 it is. And Robin gets into the box, passes into Muller, and oh, bang, back of the net. 2 1, 34 minutes down. Things were looking bad for us. It looks like Bayern Munich were going to be created, but no. Giovinco picks up the ball in the 25th minute and puts it into the back of the net. No bother there for Giovinco. The small little Italian is doing the business here. He's, he's better than Cagliarelli, in my opinion. And Vucinic, well, Vucinic was terrible in this game for me. He couldn't control a potato if you threw it at him. Yeah, basically. <laughs> 
I mean, Robin is on the attack, one door fire. We get it out of the box just about. Isla picks up the ball. Isla's going to start running because he's got that pace. Jovinko's going to shuffle in there where there's a gap. And when Jovinko gets going in a straight line, you ain't going to stop him. He just goes past Boateng, goes past uh, every defender, and basically slots it home past Manuel Noyo. Noyo is looking at him like, WTF, man, why don't you give me any chances? So, yes, that is it. Three goals to two. Giovinco getting his hat trick in the 74th minute. So, yeah, pretty proud of him. And look at this. Vucinic plays the ball over to Giovinco. Giovinco takes control in the 88th minute and is going to put it in for his fourth goal of the game. Giovinco is like a miniature. He's like mini, mini me of Ronaldo. He's just so quick. He's got the skill moves as well. He's got, I think, four off the top of my head, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, 4-2 up in the 89th minute. This commentary has been the craziest one I've ever done. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see more of this. So we do win four goals to do. We get our three points. So that means that we've got a total of nine points with six games remaining. One more point and we're going to be promoted. So there's a good chance we will do this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.